Hello everyone, I want to make a, a, a video today. Uh, I'm going to be in, start off in Ephesians 4.19 of the King James Version of the Bible. I'm uh, continuing on with uh, the, the senses. I did the sight, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, or tasting, smelling, and now today is feeling. So, uh, Ephesians 4.19, King James Version of the Bible says, Who have been past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. So, and then Hebrews 4.15 says, we, For we have not an high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as you we are, yet without sin. Acts 17.27 said that they should seek the Lord, if haply they may feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Um, I remember, I remember uh, we used to play a little game and uh, we'd try to find something that'd say, you're hot, you're cold. And we would, uh, so feeling is a, is a very important, if you can't feel, uh, there's nothing to prevent you from walking over to a hot stove and, and hurting yourself. If you can't feel, you will hurt yourself. Uh, and I relayed the story about uh, Brother Craig Turner, Sister Michelle. They went in a restaurant and they was um, uh, sitting there and he had walked an older couple with a, 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 a young lady. It wasn't a, a little girl. And she was evidently was blind. She's trying to find her way over to him, and they were saying, we're over here, hon, and she was following that voice and just feeling her way along. Uh, that's a very important to blind people. And as, as uh, used to back in, when I first started out in this way, uh, we went by our feelings a lot. Uh, and... Uh, you hear the old children of God say, and we just had a feeling. I had a feeling to go see somebody. Had a feeling to go a different direction. Had a feeling that somebody needed something. Just felt burdened and had a feeling to pray for somebody. Uh, we used to we used to hear that a lot. And uh, I, personally, myself, I like I like it when the Lord puts it on your heart to do something. A feeling, as we call it, to give somebody money. That's one of the best. One of the best things that you could have the Lord ask you to do is give somebody money. My Uncle Frank, I've mentioned him in a different video, when he first came into the way, he had been pretty rough. And the Lord would ask him to give somebody some money, he'd give it to him. And as it happened, that he would get twice back. He'd give money and it'd be twice back. And you just have to know the McAnally's, my uncle and, and my mother's people, and he, he, they just talked to the Lord, and he'd say, he said, um, now look here, Lord, I want to give this, and I don't want anything back. But he couldn't keep it. It just kept rolling back to him twice as much as he'd give. And he had, uh, uh, if, if you're given to get it back, you're, you're probably not going to get it back. I, I remember uh, one time I went, to play to a place, I went to a place, and I was feeling pretty good. And I said, "It's a, a, a feeling way. It's a feeling way." And the man there says, "It's a spiritual way with a feeling." And that's what it is. It's a spiritual way with a feeling. Years ago, I might have related this to you before, but we're talking about feelings. I was, uh, we were going to have a, a district meeting in Birmingham for Carnation Company, the company I work for. And they, it was the end of 1980, <clears throat> that's how long ago it's been, and they wanted you to submit 10 slogans for 1981 that's going to have a contest and award some money. And uh, we didn't have emails or text or whatever. We had to write them on a report and send them in. I, I did that. I just wrote them down fast as I could, it seemed like, just to get it off my back. Sent it in. I forgot about it. And I... Right before I went down there to the meeting, my wife said, Dale, uh, I, I know this couple's in need. I don't guess the Lord had told her to give anything to them yet. 
but she just knew that in her mind. And she said, what about us give them $25, which that was a, a lot of money in 1980. It'd buy you a week's worth of groceries. I, I said, that's fine with me. And so I went down there and they had the meeting. They had banners on the wall for the slogan of 1981. I didn't even look. I thought that the ones I had submitted were so ridiculous that didn't have a shot. I didn't do it really to win. I just did it to get them off my back. So uh, he says, the winner, the reason I'm here is the winner of the of 1981 slogan is in this room. And uh, I still didn't look. And he said, well, I, okay, I guess nobody wants this money. He started to stick the $25 back in his pocket. And I thought, I might have looked, and there it was, my slogan, the winning slogan. And I said, oh, it's mine, it's mine. But uh, to show you, I believe the Lord helped me with that because the, the, I'll tell you the slogan, and then you'll know he did. It said, second to none in 81. I mean, my goodness, you know, <laughs> surely something could beat that. But the Lord knew that that we had that given heart and we're going to get $25 to that sister. I came back home and my wife met me at the door. You know uh, how wives do. They're wonderful, wonderful. But they met you at the door. The car tore up. The kids were rowdy or uh, whatever. Sometimes it's not always good news. But that time she met me at the door and she said, Dale, she said, you know that $25 we was going to, I, I think she met me at the door. But anyway, she said, you know that $25 I was going to give this sister? And I said, yeah, I remember it. And she said, I, I didn't give him $25. And I thought, oh, you have cheated us out of a blessing. I knew that there was a blessing in giving. And she said, when it came time to give that money, it just didn't seem right. And I went on and gave her $50. And I said, I got you covered. <laughs> I've got you covered. You just can't out give the Lord. I, I wish that the Lord would tell me to give somebody Money, I, I'm, I'm retired, I'm not working, don't have abundance of money, but I'm telling you that that's one of the best blessings you can ever have in your life. Uh, I remember one time I went to a church, not too, too awful long ago, and uh, there was a sister there that said something about, she wanted to tell me something. Well, it's awkward between you and the sister. We had already went outside. There was people standing around. So I went over to where she was at, and she said, the Lord told me to give you this. It was $100, which uh, I've had people give me more money than that, but it touched my heart. And I, I think of this sister, and I think about that. It, it brings a closeness to you. And um, I, I told you just recently about this brother that was my hero in the Lord. Uh, he was having it hard financially. And my wife told me, she said, Dell, I'd like to give them X amount. And I said, uh, and it was like on a Monday night. And I said, let me pray about it. So, you know, if they was really needing that, they would have been in a hurt. But God was, uh, I prayed and God told me to give them more than that. And I told my wife, I said, God said, give them this. So that night I went over there at his house. He was real receptive. I said, I've uh, he said, come on in, come on in. We went in and sat down. We just talked a little small talk, chit-chat, I call it, and uh, really about nothing. And he sensed that I had come on a mission, on on, on uh, business for the king. And he said, I guess you didn't come for this, did you? You've got something you need to do. And I said, yeah. And I think I might have had it in an envelope. I didn't know how to give it to him. And after all, as I said, he was my hero. So I went over there stuck that envelope in his pocket. And I heard later that when I left out of the driveway, he yelled in there, he called in there to his wife and said, how much money did we lack on the rent? And she said, so much, just the amount I gave him. Not trying to, uh, as they say, blow my own horn, but I just praise God that, that I, I forgot a lot of money <laughs> received or give but I'll never forget that. Uh, it's, you know, I've, I've had the Lord cause me to have a feeling to do something. And uh, not every time, but if it comes from the Lord, every time that you get a feeling from the Lord, you can rely on that and you can do that. You don't have to have a feeling to help somebody. 
You don't have to have a feeling to go to church. You don't have to have a feeling to be good to your wife. That's part of commitment. Uh, you just do it because you know that's the thing that you need to do. But I'll tell you, there's a reward in it. I really enjoyed this. It's completed the series on, on senses, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and today is the feeling part of it. So I hope it's helped you and benefited. If it has, let me know. That's good news to know. And if there's something else you want me to address, I thought at first when people would make a request, I thought, I don't know if I could do this or not, but I've found every time so far that the Lord has helped me uh, and directed me to, to be able to get it together. So may the Lord bless you is my prayer.